Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here it is, chapter 6. Teacher C said, I happen to be at work too, so let me took her with me. Now, look at Teacher C's face. It looked like she was teasing Mother Lou just right now. On Mother's Lou perception, this car, it is a low-key car. But it was really expensive. On the surface, but not cheap. The boss of our company also owns one. Look at Louie's face. This is the first time that she will sit on the teacher's car. On the other hand, Mother Lou is still thinking a teacher's salary shouldn't be able to afford a car like this. Teacher C, take away Louie and said don't worry about it the road is black if you delay any longer you will be late louis thinking what's even scarier than living across the streets from the teachers is having to take the class teacher's car to go to school she was looking for help her mom said it's so scary back to lucy shell he entered her car still how can Sian afford a car like this well, she really don't know yet, but sooner, she will know that Sian is a daughter of a businessman, and they will have a project in future. Hey guys, I'm giving a spoiler here. She looked up. She saw Sian looking at her. Sian said, you are black and I am white. Does it look like a black and white? Still, Louie was spouting. She was really scared by now. On Lucy show mind, black and white. It's like a zebra car, right? These two adults thinks like a child. Lucy show said, black and white with a chocolate cone. Well, it's very similar. Still, she was thinking about the car and Teacher C. And how did Teacher C afford this? On the other hand, Teacher C was looking at her. It was like teasing her so much. Well, taking her daughters to the school can ease a burden in her. Now, Teacher C said, let's go first. She was talking to Louie. They went ahead. Lu Shi is still on the parking lot. Teacher C's car is in front and Lu Shi car is in the back. Now, Lu Shi had more time to spend on the office. But it was really hard. Now, she's still been stuck on the traffic on the road. It's early morning rush. A lot of workers and students are going to their respective places. Lucy Xiao look in front of her car. It was still traffic. In front of her was Teacher C's car. And Louie sit in front. Louie is still quiet. She really don't want to talk. This is the scariest thing in her life for now. On the other hand, Sian was looking at her and said her facial features are only slightly like her mother's eyes. But she has a good bones, fair skins, and it's really a beauty. Well, we already know. Lucy Shao is a single mother right now. There are too many students so I usually don't pay attention to her. In bag impressions, I only remember that she was relatively introvert and quiet. Teacher C is breaking a silence and called her Louie. Louie answered, ah? Now Louie is getting tense about this. Teacher C asked Louie, 
Does your mother usually take you to school? Teacher C wants to really gossip about Mother Lou and Louie's status. She really wants to know if there is a father on the other side. Louie answer heard, I'll take the subway by myself. At young age, Louie can commute when she was going to school. Teacher C is really curious. She questions Louie so much. Today is her only chances to tell or ask about her mother's or father's. Miss C still want to gossip more. Now, she only asks, Dad won't send it. She was pertaining if Louie does, why she's not sending her to school. Louie receive a text. The traffic is like this every Monday after school and your mother still have to go to work. Still, Louie is not responding to Teacher C's question. It's really like Teacher C want to interrogate this kid. And also, Louie was really scared of her. Teacher C thinks she didn't ask directly last night. And neither did Lu Xi Xiao. She never answered her. Still stuck on the traffic jam, Lu Wei bowed down. She didn't look at Teacher C. Lu Wei is hoping that Teacher C will never ask her more questions about her dad. Now, Teacher C put some things in both principles and I have to clarify them before deciding. Now, it was noisy outside the car. Louie suddenly answered Teacher C and said, Dad passed away. Well, her dad and mom was really fast away. Teacher C, to her surprise, she looked at Louie. She was looked like a confused. There's a lot of questions in her mind. But not now, because it's not a good sign. Heavily traffic was still. Staying like this with the teacher car, Louie inside her heart and mind, she was really panicking. Now, teacher C focused on the steering wheel. In the background, it seemed silence again. It's like the few minutes ago, no one was talking. Teacher C patted Louie. Well, she really understand. She should really not ask Louie about this. Sorry, teacher, I don't know. That's what Louie said. Sian thinks right now, mentioning other people's sad thing is something you should not be sorry for. But back into her heart, she really crossed the line for today's question and she said but i know i shouldn't on the first place louie was still a child losing parents it's really hard for her we have to be uh, careful on what the asking or talking i still can't deny that i feel a little happy inside this means she is really indeed a single now that was a spirit, Sian, she really wants Lu Xi Xiao, and now she was envisioning her future with Lu Xi Xiao, and of course, her also future daughter. Sian said to her mind, if I work hard enough, maybe she will get Lu Xi Xiao. But not only Lu Xi Xiao, well, you must be ready to take Louie also. On her vision, she was in a happy life with Louie and Lu Xi Xiao. And now, Lu Xi Xiao was looking at her 
on her visions. Now she already know that Lu Xi Xiao is a single mother. So she will pursue Lu Xi Xiao. Cause she really like her. And she thinks maybe one day I can stand beside her. Hey guys, thank you for watching. See you again next chapter. Bye.